UNESCO acclaimed sites in the capital city of Brussels range from 14th century guild halls surrounding the elegant Grand Place to the early 20th century Art Nouveau townhouses of Victor Horta. Bruges is a major attraction for tourists, with its perfectly preserved medieval streets rimming tranquil canals that lure flocks of travelers each year. Although Bruges is by far Belgium's most popular place to visit, plenty of other towns in the country, particularly Ghent and Mechelen, retain excellent architectural examples from the Middle Ages as well. This small nation has been right at the forefront of Europe's history, with many of the continent's most important events played out across its countryside. It was in Belgium that Napoleon met his match at the Battle of Waterloo, and during both the First and Second World Wars, Belgium found itself thrust into the front line. The World War I battlefields of Ypres are now important pilgrimage sites and today are among the country's top things to do. Whether you're here for the ancient or modern history, Belgium provides a huge chunk of European heritage within a bite-sized piece of land. Find out what to do while you're here with our list of the top attractions and places to visit in Belgium. Number 1. Grand Place, Brussels La Grand Place, also known as de Grootmarkt, is rimmed by finely preserved guild halls and other grand buildings that showcase Belgium's vernacular architecture at its best. One side is dominated by the ornate medieval town hall, a masterpiece of Gothic architecture. Grand Place was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its outstanding representation of late 17th century architecture. The square is busy with tourists and locals at all times of year, but especially in August of alternate years, when the center is filled with the 75 by 24 meter flower carpet, made up of more than 700,000 cut begonias. Number 2. The Canals of Bruges Bruges began on the banks of the River Ree, and as it grew, so did a series of waterways connecting it to the Zwin Estuary and the North Sea. Today, the canals are beautiful reminders of Bruges' history, and taking a sightseeing cruise along them is one of the most popular ways to explore the city. Sightseeing boat trips, departing from five docks, dotted along the main canal in the central city, run half-hourly from March to November, and less frequently in the depths of winter, with trips winding down the length of the main canal. This is one of the best opportunities to get photos of both Bruges' famous canal-side terraced house architecture and some of its finest buildings. Tours run rain or shine, and umbrellas are provided by the tour boat operator when it's raining. No reservations are taken for the public sightseeing boat tours. You simply turn up at the dock and buy your ticket as you board. Number 3. The Belfry of Bruges among the most recognizable sites in Belgium, this beautiful belfry, officially known as Belfort Met Biard, dominates the main square of Bruges. Dating from the 13th century, this medieval era tower is attached to a building that once functioned as the main town market hall and has been wonderfully preserved, allowing visitors a real taste of the architectural might of the Middle Ages. Climbing the 366 winding and narrow steps of the belfry to the observation deck, which sits at 83 meters high, is one of the most popular things to do for tourists in Belgium. Once at the top, the views of church spires and steeple roofs provide one of the country's best-known panoramas.
Number 4. Against Gravenstein and Old Town This hugely impressive fort was once the grand home of the Counts of Flanders, who took their inspiration for castle building from the bulky castles the Crusaders built in Syria. Today, Gravenstein is one of Europe's best surviving examples of a moated fortress and has been incredibly well preserved. Its strong and impressively thick and high walls soar up from the waters of the river, leave right in the middle of the old town of Ghent, rising above the rooftops of the surrounding streets. Inside, the vast arched halls and chambers contain exhibits of medieval life, but it's the castle's architecture itself that is the real star of the show. Climb up the staircase to the roof for panoramic views across town before strolling through Ghent's charming stone-paved streets. Number 5. Meuse Valley the Meuse Valley, south of Brussels, is one of the best places to get a feel for Belgium's rural heartland. The Meuse River offers Belgium's most scenic river trip opportunities, with dense forest countryside interspersed with hilltop craggy castle and fortress ruins, and little waterfront towns backed by limestone cliffs. Head to either the towns of Namur or Dynet to plan your river trip. Both these small centers act as gateways to this region. The Meuse Valley is also home to a host of hiking and cycling trails for travelers who want to add some activities into their holiday. Number 6. Mechelen Old Town Its monuments may not be as famous as those in visitor favorite Bruges, but Mechelen's Old Town area is a great place to capture a sense of medieval Belgium, with plenty of gabled architecture and fine old buildings still in situ. The central Grootmarkt is bordered by some exceptionally fine buildings including the Town Hall and Lakenhall. Hall. While the impressive St. Rombaut's Cathedral, with its tall clock tower, rises up just behind. Away from the main square, a stroll through the center will also reveal plenty of typical guild house architecture that history fans are sure to want to see. Number 7. Ghent's Canals For easy sightseeing while in Ghent, simply take to the water. Several companies offer sightseeing trips, both public and private options, upon Ghent's waterways, which wind through the city's medieval Old Town district, passing by the famed Guildhall facades that line the canals, its medieval harbor, and some of Ghent's monasteries and churches. Most canal cruise options are either 40 minutes or one hour. Departures are regular throughout the day, from approximately March through November, with fewer departures during winter. As well as the sightseeing cruises, a couple of companies offer kayak rental, so you can explore the canals at your own speed. Number 8. Waterloo Yes, history fans, it is that Waterloo, the place where Napoleon was defeated in the famous battle. Today, the countryside where the battle once roared is a bucolic landscape of agricultural fields, but an artificial hill rises up from the surrounding flatlands with a memorial lion sculpture atop the summit to commemorate the day when Napoleon's army was finally stopped. From the top, there are excellent views across the countryside. For anyone interested in the history of Belgium and of Greater Europe, Waterloo remains an important stop on the itinerary. Number 9. Grand Place, Grootmarkt, Antwerp 
Right in the core of Antwerp sits the town's wonderful Grand Place, also known as the Grote Markt, which contains some of Belgium's finest examples of guild house architecture with their typical steeple roof shape. The town hall here is a well-preserved example of 16th century construction, and the interior is worth viewing for its collection of paintings that show Antwerp's history. The guild houses that still rim the plaza are the major reason to visit the Grote Markt, though. Among the best facades are the Cooper's House and Grocer's House, but all of them are well-preserved examples of this Belgian style of architecture. Street Peter's Church, Leuven. With its pointed arch windows and sheaf pillars, Street Peter's Church is one of Belgium's best preserved examples of Brabant Gothic style. The church sits right in the heart of Leuven on the town's main square or Grootmarkt, as well as the church's splendid 15th century architecture. Inside, art lovers will find an extra treat. The choir and the ambulatory are home to a museum dedicated to religious art, where some of the finest Flemish paintings illustrating biblical scenes are shown. In particular, the Baroque carved pulpit and Dirk Bout's painting of the Last Supper are worth a visit. Number 11. Cathedral of St. Bevo, Ghent. This majestic cathedral with its high Gothic choir and Romanesque crypt showcases the best of religious architecture in Belgium and is Ghent's most outstanding tourist attraction. Although the soaring building, with its harmonious stained glass windows, is a highlight in itself, most people come here to see the famous artwork that graces the interior, specifically the Flemish masterpiece known as the Altar of Ghent. Once you've viewed the painting, though, don't miss the mammoth crypt under the cathedral, which contains important tombs and some beautiful wall paintings. journey through some of the best top-rated tourist attractions in Belgium. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more travel videos. Thank you for watching.